Welcome to the Advanced Node.js course. I'm your instructor Mohammed, and in section 5 we will be creating a secure web blog. In this section we are going to take a look at creating a secure web blog using Node.js, OAuth with Passport for authentication, creating models with Mongoose and MLab, sending email notification with NodeMailer and SendGrid, deploying our application to Heroku, project setup, in this video we are going to take a look at setting up our project. We are also going to take a look at the different routes and views we will create. An overview of the application that we are trying to create. So the application is a blogging website similar to Tumblr or Medium.com. There will be two models slash collections which we'll discuss in depth shortly. A user model and an article model. Users have many articles but each article only has one user. And that's because each single article is created by one user. Users have the ability to follow other users who create articles that interest them. So it's going to be similar to any other blogging platform. So before we continue on, let's take a look at the actual application. This is just the application that I've set up with Heroku. So you can sign up, log in. I've already created a few dummy accounts. I'm just going to sign in with Facebook really quickly. And you can see. This is my account that I've created so far. So this is a profile page that we're on right now. And you can jump between your profile to another profile. You can see the settings in which you have the ability to unfollow users or see your own post. Maybe even update or delete your post. You can also make a new post. You can search for posts. So the only post I believe that we've created so far is hi. You can search for other people's posts so far too. So I believe there's a post that I also created called animals. So if you hit search, you should be able to see some posts on animals. So this is created by the user Rick1. So if we follow this user, it sh his post should now appear on our dashboard. So it works just as any other blogging platform works. So you see all of the posts that was created by users you follow. So let's create a dummy post. Uh, actually, this is supposed to be called articles. In my original, this app that I've created, I called it post. But just to not confuse it with the post method, that's like the put, delete, or get method, we're going to be calling it articles in the new example. And you should be able to see that ABC is there. So they, generally, it works how any other blogging platform works. So we've already seen an overview of the pages, the different pages across that application. Uh, of course, there's a sign up, login, and sign up with the Facebook page, the dashboard page, the search page, the profile page, the settings page, a new article page, which will allow you to create a new article, an edit article page where one can edit an article, and an error page that will display any errors to the screen. So let's take a look at this user model. So this is the basis of the object. Of course, we have the ID, the Facebook ID, the email, which is important. This email will we're going to take and send email notification when a user signs up. So we're actually going to notify the owner of that email that someone has signed up with our website with their email, the username, the password, the profile picture. The people you are following is a, an array of users you are following. So this information is going to be an object. It's going to have their ID and their username, and that's going to allow us to print out some information about them. Then there's the followers, which is similar to the people you are following, except that this is the people who follow you. So the followers are the people who follow you. And then there's article, articles, which is a reference to any articles that were created by you. Article model, ID, title, description, images, tags which is an array of searchable keywords related to your posts. So if you noticed, this has animals and dogs. You can also search. So if I type in animals, that dog picture should be show up. And we do see the animals tag and the dogs. And then author, which is a reference to the user who created that specific article. And then we have a date key. Files and folders that needs to be created. Let's jump into our terminal because I've already created this project, at least the basis of it, and uploaded it to GitHub under Pack Node Advanced Project 7. So let's jump into our terminal and check it out. 
So if I run tree, it'll print out the project folder structure. So we have a controller folder, a model folder, and a view folder. That's important to note. By the way, if you try tree on a Mac OS and a Linux OS, you should be able to see the project structure of any repository you have. So we have the control model view controller, and in our controllers, we have routes. And in these routes, we have the first thing you want to notice is the articles route. So the articles route contains all of the routes that are related to editing an article. So whether that's creating a new article, updating an article, deleting an article, etc., all those routes are going to be in here. Then there's base routes, which is just the forward slash routes. So for example, forward slash dashboard would be there. These are mostly get routes. As well as there's the Facebook routes.js, and this is going to relate to authentication with Facebook. And then there's local routes.js, and these are all our local sign up routes. So it's going to be related to users, creating a new user, updating a user, deleting a user, etc. We have key.js, we're going to store API keys and such things like that. So now we're just going to npm install some modules. I've already copied um, the modules we need. So we have Express, Mongoose, Body Parser, Express Session, EJS, and Passport. So you're going to want to npm install it. And if you want to pause your the video right now and copy the project structure, I would suggest doing that as well. Moving on, let's see what is inside our app.js file because I've already written what's inside the app.js file. So first we're requiring all of our modules and again this is just the project folder. So we're requiring all of our modules, our EJSs, our Express, our Mongoose, etc. And then we are requiring all of our routes. Now you could have just said app, base routes, etc. Here, just for clarity purposes, I've separated it all with some comments. And then finally after the routes we have the other config stuff such as key, our database, and our port. We'll deal with our database later. Of course you can see the key.js file currently is empty but we are going to fill that in shortly. Then we're going to connect to Mongoose. Of course this is exactly the same thing we've been doing always. We're going to set up our body parser. We're going to set up our session, initialize passport, set up our public folder, our view engine as EJS, then we're going to set up our routes, and then of course you're going to app.listen to our port, which is going to be port 3000 when we're testing it out. And I know it went a little bit quickly. If you want to take the moment to pause and check this out, maybe copy it over, that's fine. Otherwise, this is pretty much the stuff that we've already learned before.